Craig, and talk about what's going to be happening on June 4th. I know United Way gets involved in a lot of these, these touch of truck events. What's happening there on June 4th? Yeah, so this year we decided, you know, annually we always host Touch a Truck in Van Buren, um, but we thought we would spread the love over in Oklahoma. So we'll be um, in LaFleur County, and we just want to provide an opportunity for the local kids to come out and, you know, have the same experience and see all the different types of trucks. And it's so fun to be partnering with og &E on this because they already have so many different vehicles <laughs> um, from their side of things. That is so cool that I and myself enjoyed seeing. And so we'll have the same emergency vehicles. We get to have the helicopter attend this one as well. And so um, we'll be out there naturally having um, all those vehicles for kids to see, but we'll also have booths set up, um, specifically United Way agencies, in order just to educate um, those in LaFleur and Sequoia County on what services the United Way, even though our name is United Way of Fort Smith area, those counties are included in our coverage area. So we want to educate them on what types of services we provide for them. Carrie, this is gonna be um, at the uh, the plant there in Panama. Talk about that for just a second. W what's gonna be, uh, uh, as far as OG&E is concerned, what's the role there? Yes, so um, this test track for LaFleur County is gonna be at the River Valley Power Plant in Panama, like you said. So we are so excited. Um, one of OG&E's top values is safety. It's how we start every meeting. It's how we live um, our lives outside of work. It's how we live our lives in everything that we do, including our daily job. So it's a great opportunity to not only bring in United Way and share the resources that United Way offers, but also to tie in safety for um, these students as well. It's a fun free event. We've invited all of the local school districts to come out. Um, and bring their summer program. We've invited, I know agents, or Reagan's worked with agencies to invite um, their clients as well. So it's just something um, for og &E to really teach the live safely value. We were talking offline before we started that you were telling me that the plant manager there is big time in the community and this, this really shows that. Yes, Andy Chancellor, he's a, a new board member for United Way of Fort Smith area as well. Um, and he, since he moved to River Valley Power Plant a few years ago, he has really um, stepped up and just um, engulfed himself in the community. And he has kids of his own um, and he loves um, sharing what he does on a daily basis with students. Reagan, who can come out to this? Is This is pretty much open to everybody. Absolutely. We would love anyone in the community to join. Um, you know, we have something for all ages. We'll have hot dogs and we'll have trucks, but we also have amazing information and resources that anyone, including adults, um, probably need more than the kids do. But it's always good to know that, um, you know, there's places in the community that can help and support people no matter what kind of time they're going through, whether they're the ones who are in need or if they're the ones who are wanting to find a way to serve others. And so um, our whole goal is to educate people on how they can make their community more of a home. The, uh, the role OG&E plays in this, Carrie, it seems like uh, this, is, this is pretty much a no-brainer for the company to be a part of. Absolutely. Um, part of our goal is strengthening our communities, just like United Way does. So I can't think of a better fit than working hand in hand with them. I know it's near to near and dear to Eddie Lee and I as well, but um, but this really fits in with the values um, of og and &E and how we can really, you know, live and serve our communities better. It's interesting, Reagan. This is more than than going out and looking at vehicles. You, you you're educating at the same time, it seems. Absolutely. I think, you know, one of the things I learned whenever I first started this role was that the emergency and safety vehicles are a big part because oftentimes children see those vehicles in negative situations and negative environments. And I had never thought about it that way whenever they're in a fun and an exciting environment and they're meeting those emergency personnel in a positive light um that they know that they're there to help them different things like that um it's in it's important to educate kids from an early age but then on the flip side that we're educating the adults as well um on what the community offers and it's always i think we can spend each and every day learning more and more about the places that we live 
um, and not only what they serve, but how we can make it better. And so that's the whole goal of this event. All right, Carrie, Reagan, thank you so much. Have a have a blast out there on the fourth.